Well, good morning, Mr. Van Rompuy. You've been in office for one year, and in that time, the whole edifice is beginning to crumble. Uh, there's chaos. Uh, the money's running out. I should thank you. You should perhaps be the pin-up boy of the Eurosceptic movement. But just look around this chamber this morning. Just look at these faces. Look at the fear. Look at the anger. Poor old Barroso here looks like he's seen a ghost. You know, they're beginning to understand that the game is up. And yet, in their desperation to preserve their dream, they want to remove any remaining traces of democracy from the system. And it's pretty clear that none of you have learned anything. You know, when you yourself, Mr. Van Rompuy, say that the euro has brought us stability, I suppose I could applaud you for having a sense of humour, but isn't this really just the bunker mentality? You know, your fanaticism is out in the open. You talked about the fact that it was a lie to believe that the nation state could exist in a 21st century globalised world. Well, that may be true in the case of Belgium, who haven't had a government for six months, but for the rest of us, right across every member state in this union, and perhaps this is why we see the fear in the faces, increasingly people are saying, we don't want that flag, we don't want the anthem, we don't want this political class, we want the whole thing consigned to the dustbin of history. And we had the Greek tragedy earlier on this year, and now we have the situation in Ireland. Now I know that the stupidity and greed of Irish politicians has a lot to do with this. They should never ever have joined the Euro. They suffered with low interest rates, a false boom and a massive bust. But look at your response to them. What they're being told, as their government's collapsing, is that it would be inappropriate for them to have a general election. In fact, Commissioner Wren here said they had to agree their budget first before they'd be allowed to have a general election. Just who the hell do you think you people are? You are very, very dangerous people indeed. Your obsession with creating this Euro state means that you're happy to destroy democracy. You appear to be happy for millions and millions of people to be unemployed and to be poor. Untold millions must suffer so that your Euro dream can continue. Well, it won't work because it's Portugal next with their debt levels of 325% of GDP. They're the next ones on the list. And after that, I suspect it'll be Spain. And the bailout for Spain would be seven times the size of Ireland. And at that moment, all of the bailout money has gone. There won't be any more. But it's even more serious than economics. Because if you rob people of their identity, if you rob them of their democracy, then all they are left with is nationalism and violence. I can only hope and pray that the Euro project is destroyed by the markets before that really happens. Thank you. Scenes of public outrage from usually picturesque European cities have punctuated much of the past year for the continent. Clouds of black smoke and tear gas drifted in the streets of Athens as protesters hurled rocks, bottles and petrol bombs at police. Greek officials say three people died after angry demonstrators torched their bank building. The workers, many are angry over the harsh austerity measures demanded by EU countries and the International Monetary Fund. Conditions for a $145 billion bailout package the for Greece. protests have brought the country to a but virtual but standstill. But he says the possibility the crisis could spread to other European economies is higher now than it was a few weeks ago.